Hello and welcome again. My name is Hans Goodbord. This is the second installment in CRC's sort of brief descriptions of how to use SPSS to extract data from our data initiative. Now, yesterday I was showing you frequencies, which is a way of just getting sort of absolute numbers or percentages from our data initiative so that you can extract an image like that. But sometimes you want more. Sometimes you may want to do, this is also something based on frequencies, you may want to do something that is a cross tab, a cross tabulation where you compare here people in the capital, urban and rural, and cut the data in these three directions so that you can see what's actually happening or here political trust of those that are very interested in politics and then sort of look at the three the three aspects here and again here trust rural capital or those that are very politically interested how do they trust um, the president so this is um, how do we do this and again it's actually very simple let's go to SPSS and please make sure you set your browser to F11 to full screen so that you can see everything that's going on so essentially we go back here to analyze you're familiar with that again go to descriptive statistics and then go down here to cross tabs and then let's choose some cross tabs I'm gonna make this relatively quick so that we don't spend a lot of your time just watching um, watching this watching what we have here uh, one second the number of departed household members oh now I've forgotten something that's important first we have to clean the clear these windows through reset yeah important remember that otherwise it's going to take you some time number of departed household members and then we need to click this button click and the number of departed household members and then let's just look at what value let's move down here a little bit household income 2006 relative to 2005 let's mark it and put that here in the columns and then what's also neat you can go down here into cells and click percentages for the row for column and even total then that gives you more data on that you don't need to do that you can play around with the others as well not so important click OK and here we have it we have the data you can look at that in great detail and examine it the number of departed household members those that have migrated abroad and relate that here to income data and as mentioned you can look at that with a lot more sort of with a lot more time than and this is the cross tabulation it's as easy as that and in the next installment we'll show you how you can work with that and export that and then we'll also show you an easier way of actually extracting the data um, once you understand the basics of syntax but for now this is the fastest way of getting at the data let me just repeat the main items here you go to analyze descriptive statistics cross tabs if necessary you clear rows and columns and then you choose your questions here over here mark them decide what exactly you want here percentages and rows and columns I'm gonna just gonna cancel it and get out and then you're on track I hope you find this useful only two or three more installments to go and then you should be on track to using our data initiative thanks for stopping by and hope to see you for the next installment as well and again the typical challenge of trying to close this down here we go